Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the US Sexton 1. This is a tier 3 American premium artillery with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on steps with tier 5 as the top tier and 2 artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with a gun rammer, enhanced gun laying drive, and a camouflage net. I'm using an American crew which has 5 crew skills and perks. And I'm platooned up with Cowboy Arizona, who is also in a US Sexton 1. Cowboy Arizona and I have taken up relatively equal spots on opposite sides of our defensive line, hoping to spread our targets out a little bit, but it looks like I got the better side with plenty of targets already. I'll go over a few things that I like to think about when I'm playing artillery, especially in a target-rich environment like this. One, you can keep hitting the same target over and over again and try to take one enemy out of the game. This I try to use for heavy tanks that are in the open, when it's pretty easy to hit that target consecutive times. The second thing is I can choose different targets over multiple shots. This I tend to use when I think an enemy has been spooked by my shot and is likely to fall back behind cover. And I'll also select new targets based off of which ones I think are going to be spotted out the longest. This I find works well with artillery that have good aim times and when the enemy is out in the open. So many targets available there for the first minute of the game, a great way to start off. Now that my team has lost that incredibly aggressive spotter and managed to clean up all the advanced players along the 9-0 flank, I just quickly grabbed whatever target was available on the map, which works well with a fast shooting, fast aiming artillery like this, but if I was using a higher tier artillery with a longer reload and a slightly sluggish aim time, I would have just probably stuck on that flank, pre-aiming for when my teammates moved forward and spotted out new targets. It's always fun to see a teammate get a good ram when you're in artillery view. That was a good one for 179 damage. I was firing quite a few shots here before I was fully aimed, because my teammates were taking them out so fast that I just wanted even the slightest chance of getting damage on them. After seeing so many of their tanks get destroyed in the early game, the enemy heavy tanks did not move forward, and they're all bunched into one nice area here, which is just perfect for my artillery. I got some really big hits on that Churchill 3 and ended up doing 538 damage to him out of his 700 hit points. That's pretty significant for a tier 3 arty to do against a top tier heavy tank. Alright, I managed to destroy 5 enemies, let's see if I can get number 6 and go for the top gun. No luck with the arty and Cowboy Arizona gets a huge hit to finish off that tier 5 medium. Just short of a top gun there, now let's check the post game stats and see how I did. For this game I managed to earn 39,000 silver without any multipliers, and 5,498 experience with a 2 times daily bonus. In this game I dealt 1,616 damage, assisted with 157 damage, and destroyed 5 enemies. This earned me High Caliber, Mastery Badge Ace Tanker, and a Gores Medal, which is for causing damage 10 times the amount of your own hit points with an artillery. I am really happy with that considering this game was only 4 minutes and 15 seconds long. I placed at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 1,410. And I always know it's a good game when Cowboy Arizona says, Wow, look at your damage! 
I managed to hit 14 of my 25 shots and get damage from all those. In terms of crew and module damage, I injured the driver in the Honor T28E, injured the gunner in the M3 Lee, damaged the engine and destroyed the viewport in the Churchill 3, and injured the driver in the DW2. Well that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the US Sexton 1. This can be a bit of a ridiculous artillery for a tier 3, and I really like playing it here and there for some great artillery fun. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.